This weekend marks the one-year anniversary since doctors discovered the first COVID patient in Oregon. Today, Governor Kate Brown said the state is turning a corner. For the past three weeks, we've seen our case counts steadily decline. Our hospitalizations have matched that. And last week, we reported the lowest COVID-19 deaths since the summer. And the positive percentage for COVID tests is hovering around 3%, another good sign. With that in the background, the governor announced she would move forward, making 65-year-olds eligible for COVID shots this coming Monday. Her other big announcement, we know now the latest date everybody else in the state will be eligible for a vaccine. March 29th, those who are 45 and above and have underlying medical conditions will be eligible for COVID vaccinations. Those conditions are defined by the CDC and include cancer, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. Notably, the list does not include smokers. Certain others, like farm workers, food processing workers, and people experiencing homelessness, will also be eligible March 29th. The next group becomes eligible May 1st and includes those who are 16 and older with underlying medical conditions, along with grocery and restaurant workers, also bar staff, and those who work in retail, construction, and government jobs that cannot work from home. June 1st, anyone who is 45 and older can get the shots. And July 1st, anyone 16 and older qualifies. Of all seniors, Oregon Health Director Patrick Allen said if Oregon gets the vaccine shipments he expects, we'll see many more vaccine appointments available by mid-March. If Oregon's prime dose allocation increases to approximately 200,000 doses per week, Oregon would have enough first doses to vaccinate 7 in 10 adults by the end of April 2021 and all adults by the end of May 2021. But Allen said until then, it will be rough for seniors trying to get appointments and neither the governor nor Allen would support a pause, which would push back the eligibility date for 65-year-olds until more seniors get their shots. And while we've got this scheduling challenge that we're working to fix, it just seems really difficult to go back yet again to those same seniors and say, and it turns out that date's not gonna work either and, and we'll get back to you. Instead, the existing eligible group of seniors will face added competition when Monday, 250,000 65-year-olds are added statewide to the pool. In Northeast Portland, Pat Doris, KGW News.